The magic of console gaming for me is cooperative play. Whether we're all in the same room, whether we're playing online, it's cool to be able to kick back, control in your hand, and enjoy this game together. As much fun as it is playing on your own, there is nothing better than you and up to three friends on a couch together in front of one TV, all playing the game together. There's really nothing that beats that experience. And in fact, we've made a few refinements to try and improve that a little bit so that the experience is even better. When you're playing multiplayer, all the items that drop, whether they're items or consumables or even gems, like they drop on a per player basis, right? So everybody gets their own loot. We want friends to stay friends while playing Ultimate Evil Edition. And we didn't want any impediments for you to take your character and play with someone else. So it's critical that, they, that players be able to take their own ID, use their own character, level at a friend's house, and then bring that back into their own experience. One of our pillars that the team had with the Ultimate Evil Edition was something we called Share Your Adventures. We really wanted to focus on that social experience. We wanted to encourage that kind of social interactivity in a couple of ways. First and the easiest is just player mail. You can actually send gold, materials, and items to anybody on your friends list. The problem is, I have a lot of friends who play Diablo. I don't know what level they are, often don't know what class they're playing, so I don't, I don't know what they need. So we added player gifts. So now when you're um, cruising along and you get a legendary for yourself, there's a chance a legendary in a box that you can't open will we'll pop for your friend and even have his name on it and you can, you can mail it to him and it'll be targeted to his character. I think one of the more unique features uh, that we have in Reaper of Souls is what we call our Nemesis system. So the Nemesis system is, is a new system that, that's unique to console that we're bringing to uh, the Ultimate Evil Edition. The way it works is as follows. I'm adventuring on my own in Sanctuary, minding my own business, then I, I die. I get killed by, by a monster. And when you die, there's a chance that that monster who killed you, whether it's a skeleton or a demon or whatever it is, will level up and become a Nemesis. So what happens is when you die, that monster will level up it will open up a portal and step through the portal and go hunt one of your friends on your friends list. So the next time my friend unsuspectingly uh, launch uh, Reaper of Souls, uh, he's gonna be playing, you know, he's having a good time, and all of a sudden he's gonna hear ominous music, and then a portal's gonna open, a creature's gonna jump out, and is going to start attacking him. He's gonna have to fend for himself. And the really cool thing is if he kills your friend, then they'll pick someone from their friends list, and, and, and the cycle will continue. But if anybody along the line manages to kill the nemesis, that player will get a reward, and I will also get a reward as well. So it's a really great way of allowing people to feel that they're playing a connected experience without necessarily having to be online at the same time. Everything about playing Diablo, the Ultimate Evil Edition on PlayStation 4 is about ease of use for the player. So any other features we had under the pillar of sharing your adventures is what we call the apprentice system, or apprentice mode. So what can happen is you as, as the, the higher level player can apprentice me into your game and I'll be raised up to your level for the purpose of us playing together. I'll still have the same challenges that you would have. Any items that drop for the lower level character are gonna be at the right level. So you're not gonna end up all of a sudden as a level 10 character with a level 60 item that you're never gonna be able to use. So you'll get level 10 items. The minute we did that, it just like doubled the awesomeness of couch co-op. The small touches that the team added, like the nemesis kill system, the apprentice system, player gifts, really make that experience feel like this is a premier role-playing experience and it's really awesome that it's coming to the PlayStation 4. I think it's just gonna be a great way to kind of share what you love with your friends and just have a ton of fun. PlayStation.